Hey everyone, Monkey Rich Mike, we are back at IAA looking at all kinds of. It's another Z4, a Z4. I just showed you a black one at the other facility. This one is silver. Oh my gosh, do you guys want to see another one or do you just want a really quick little preview? This one I don't think is as nice as the black one. But, oh, it's dirty. Whoa. She is really dirty. Okay. So we probably won't do a video on her. Because I'm... Ugh. Ooh. Look at that. Okay. So this is a 03 BMW. It's from Pedal. It's going to have a bajillion miles on it. We're just going to keep walking. And see if we can find something else. So stay tuned. We're going to find some good cars and maybe even some good trucks. Look at the beautiful sky. Look at the 2013 Cadillac XTS that is squatted and ready to launch. She is ready to fly. But I don't know why she's here. Look at the wheels. I don't know what I think about the wheels. Okay, we got Michelin on the front, which is good. Continental on the back, which Continentals are good tires. I, I wish they would match. Um, what do we have over on this side? I don't even see. Um, what is this? I don't even know. It's, it's covered. And then we have a Continental up here, a different kind of a Continental. This is the Pro Contact. This is, okay, this is a pedal car, which is a company that buys cars and sells cars. That's all I can say. A lot of their cars have, you know, a quintillion miles on them. So maybe that's why this one is here. She used to have pinstripe. She was a good looking car though. I mean, this is the big, the big Cadillac, okay? We have sa sand and just dirt everywhere. She is, she's dirty. Whoa, this is kind of a mess. All right, let's just see what's on the inside here. Oh, wow, is there any, yeah. Well, once again, you get this screen. Is it the heat? If you know why all of these screens crack, please let me know. I, is it heat related or do some people get mad and they start banging on them? I don't know. I really don't know. Like I always say, my daughter likes Cadillacs. She's had a couple in her day and she swears by them. She really does. This, this would clean up. It would absolutely clean up and be a very nice little car. Well, a very nice big car for somebody. Let's see what it looks like under here. This almost like looks like a funeral car, as big as it is up here. Ugh. Okay, plain old V6, VVT, dirty, 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 dirty. Yeah, okay. Let's see if they have the mileage listed on this thing. Is there even oil? What does this look like? Well, it's at the right level and it's it's been used for a while. It's not lumpy, so that's all right. Let's see here. Ugh. They don't have the mileage on the sticker. No, I don't know. This would be so iffy. XTS4 with no body damage, obvious suspension damage. I guess this has an air ride. I'd have to look at and look at these and see. But it was it was a nice car back in the day. All right, let's just see what's going to happen here. Oh, well the mileage is now displayed. 257,000 miles. Turn that off. And let's just see if she's going to try and start. Oh. Come on. Yes. Okay. She's alive. That's huge. How do you turn this thing off? But anyway, 257,000 miles, ABS light on, TPMS, change engine oil soon 
open then close the driver window. Okay, that's not too bad. Well, we got more things going on. Fuel range low. Battery voltage is great, 14.6. Suspension system needs service, of course. She goes into reverse. She goes into drive. She sounds good though. You know, for the right price, would you buy a 257,000 mile Cadillac? You could be the only person on your block with one. <laughs> I like it. I just can't make the hazards go off. There we go. Now we're talking. I can't, it really does. It's nice in here. There's no sunroof, no big deal. We are about to run out of fuel though. So I gotta turn this thing off. I don't wanna run it out in case I'm not the winning bidder. But, oh my goodness. I was surprised, really, really surprised on this one. All right, let me know in the comments what you think about an old Cadillac with a ton, ton of miles. Well, here's another four door, 2011 Nissan Maxima. It says collision damage. If you, I mean, there's a dent here, there's a dent here, and you could pop these out. That one, there's a dent right here. This may have a little more work involved. Um, but that's really all I see on this side. Tires don't match, of course. What do you think about these? I had one, I did, and it was nice. It had that CVT transmission, but mine actually worked. We got a flat tire over here. Little scratching. It's got the cool roof. Okay, that's, that's a bonus feature. Okay, and we've got air in this tire which is a full way, never heard of it, full way HP 108. Got them old full ways on my car. Okay. These are good looking cars. They were so much nicer looking than the previous version, but you do have that CVT transmission, which can be problematic. Mine had the black interior, just like this one. This has the wood interior, just like mine. It's got the fancy roof like mine did. That didn't seem to go here. See what happened? What happened to you? Why are you so out of whack? You need to get your doors aligned. See, cause look, that's how far off it is. And then when you close it, it goes up. That's an issue. What do you do? You close, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, these are bigger cars on the inside, I will say that. And they're fun to drive, it's quiet. We have power. Do we have a key? We do have a key. <clears throat> Why is the key not recognized? I can't even reach it to the little port to charge the key. I can't even... Wait a second here, hold on. Yep, I can't get it to reach, so we can't. Uh, it's so close. So, so dead gum close. Yeah, so this one isn't, she's not gonna do anything. But the inside looks nice. Oh, you have the screen in the back. You've got a heated and cooled seat right here. This is really nice. It's, it's, they're fun to drive at night too, because you got that glow which is really, really cool. And then you can open both of your uh, moon roofs, which is nice. But I can't get it to start because I can't get the key to reach over there. She's not gonna do anything. Yep, all right, well, sorry. Time now for today's version of what did I used to be? And I'm giving you a very easy one this time, just from the body shape, just from the look at the doors and the wheels, you know what this is. Yeah, shouldn't be too difficult. Here's another, how they have this cutout right here in the front fender, okay? You're not gonna get anything from the inside because it's a, it's a mess, okay? Here's your supercharger. Yeah, there's a hint. Okay, does it even spin? No, it's locked up. <laughs> 
Here's the inside of your oil filter. Wow, nothing moves. Look at the timing chain. Look at the chain. It's not only has it burned, it's been sitting out here for so, so, so long. Do you know what it is? There it is. 2010 Land Rover Range Rover Supercharged Sport. Yep, that's it right there. Did you get it right? I hope so, because that was, that was pretty easy for all the car guys and gals. Somebody still hasn't been purchased, and I'm so sorry to see this. She has been here for so long. She was actually at the other facility for a very long time. Didn't sell. She's been here for a long, long time. She would have sold if the owner would have um, accepted ugh, the uh, high bid. But I believe at one time was like almost 10 and then it went to like 85 or something. So if you are interested in saving a 72 Mercedes, what is this, 250? If I remember right, yeah, 250, you need to get a bumper. Um, this is now on the ground. These forklifts come by and pick up these cars and move them because sometimes they have to get the car behind them. So, but if you would like to save her, she's definitely worth it. And I got her to start when she was at the other facility. Yeah, she started. She's just so dirty now. She really, really is. She deserves to be back on the road. But what we're looking at is this right here, the Mercedes GLK. 350 in beautiful white. I don't even know. Um, 2014, it's a collision loss. I'll show you right here. That's it. Okay, I think that's it. I don't even know. So apparently somebody put on this. It, she may have been damaged before and they just painted the bumper and they didn't do that great of a job. They really didn't. And you're missing your little light bar right across there. What other damage do we see? Air in the tires, missing the center cap. This is okay, this is okay, missing the center cap. Do have some tread left on the tires, that's good. So she could have had a hard life. There's power, maybe. Are you gonna open? Oh, it's got the black, nice interior. That's so much nicer than the tan. Oh. And she smells pretty good. She does smell pretty good. Here we go. That's the body damage. That's all there is right there on the front. Since there's power, let's climb in and see what she has got to offer. And look what they did. <laughs> Have you seen <laughs> the, has this popped up on your feed? on TikTok yet or Facebook or whatever where they have the strips of the vinyl and they cover chairs and they fix everything. That's what they did with this right here. They fixed it up. 82 degrees right now. Um, let's see what she's going to do. The key was already in. She sounds good. There is a crack in the windshield all the way across. So you need a bumper, a grill, a windshield and an armrest because this is all jacked up. That's all jacked up. Cup holders finally in a Mercedes. Little power point right there. Navigation. Here we go. See what they listen to. Okay, little Jack Harlow. Yep. Loving on me, whips and chains, you know, all that fun stuff. Just kidding. Anyway, um, let's go through this. Check brake pad wear. Check, check left daytime running the light. That was that little uh, strip light that I told you about, that bar. Check washer fluid. 138,490 miles. She sounds, she sounds good. She really does. Um, the windows are going to work. I just think that's hilarious. That's yeah, that's pretty, pretty smart to cover that stuff up. Um, but this is that cheap seat, and eventually this is going to crack. I'm surprised it hasn't done so on my seat just quite yet. Open the hood. But let me show you what seam always, 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 always right here. Oh, look, they did that on this one too. Yeah, because look, I mean, look how thin this is. Can you see? It's like a millimeter thin. That's not gonna last. 
the, the leather in my S320 from 99 or 98 is probably four times that thick. It's probably quarter inch thick. And even older ones are even thicker, but this is the seam that's gonna crack because the, there, there's just so much wear and tear. And when you get in with your big old booty, it stretches it and that always, always, always cracks. I don't know why they did, well, everybody's going to very cheap interiors these days. Let's see what we got under here. Okay, it sounds good. It looks dirty for 138,000 miles. Just kind of looking around here. 2014 model year is what the, the hood says. The air conditioner is cycling on and off, that's good. Little bit of a right through there, nothing major. But this is, <clears throat> that's a crappy paint job. That is, that's really, really bad through there. So she, but, it looks okay. Maybe it was just a quick little karate chop in the front and she was done for as far as the insurance company. I don't know. Anyway, this would be a good car for somebody. Get yourself a good bumper, professionally painted, or go to the salvage yard and just grab one in white. Yeah, great option. All right, what do you think about these vehicles in this little video? We'll close the glove box right there. I'm liking that game. What did I used to be? That, was, that, that could be a lot of fun. Um, kind of test your knowledge of what cars are shaped like and see if you can figure out what they used to be. Uh, I do want to say thanks to everybody who is new to the channel. I'm getting a lot of subscribers, so that is huge. We're going to hit 53 very, very soon. I have all kinds of content coming out, so if you have not subscribed and what is it now? 43% of the people that watch the videos are not subscribed. Please subscribe. Take a minute and just hit that subscribe button. It's, it's right there, I think it's going to be on that side. Yeah, so please do that and you will be notified when I upload new videos. All right, everybody, have a great day. We're back with another video very, very soon. Until then, just, whoo, it's spring. Enjoy springtime wherever you are, okay? We'll see you. Bye-bye.